about three years ago, I died and went to hell. How I died was I had a heart attack and I was down there because I didn't have Jesus Christ at the time as my savior. And before I was a Christian, I used to make fun of Christians. I used to make fun of the Bible. I used to make fun of Jesus. Um, and you know, this did really happen. Some of you might not believe it, but I know it happened. And I want to share it with all of you watching this so that you realize that there is a hell and so that you do not go there because it is a horrible place of torment. Horrible. And I mean that so much. There's no parties in hell. It was a nightmare beyond nightmares. Okay, here's the, the story. I'll, I'll try to sum it up fast because I know I don't have all day to explain it. What happened was before I was a Christian, before I prayed and read the Bible, I used to be in a horrible depression, a hopeless, faithless, just spiraling depression full of anger, hatred, and I used to be just, just down, always, spiritually. I used to just hate the world. I used to hate every person around me. I used to, I used to want to kill myself before I was a Christian. But I didn't want to go through with it because I was afraid to, if that makes any sense to you. If I can explain it, you know, better. I basically hated myself. I hated people around me. I was just depressed. I was just in a dark place. Well, what happened was one night I collapsed on my bed face down, feeling horrible as I did every night and that particular night I felt my chest just I felt my heart just give out like bam and I was falling in this dark place and the place was pitch black this was this is this is what happened exactly after um, I died and went to hell I was in this place, it was just pitch black, I had my hand in front of my face, I couldn't even see it, that's how black it was. Just pitch black and the way I felt down there, I was just in complete coldness and bone chilling cold, meaning my whole soul was just full of, full of coldness and, and, uh, and just numbness. And I just felt paralyzed with fear because that's what hell is it's just fear all of it it's constant fear constant torment because it says in the bible fear has torment and that's true fear does have torment and when i was in hell i felt constant fear also i heard this creature that was saying bad words to me like cuss words in my ear and i couldn't understand what the creature was saying but it was screaming at the top of its deep voice all these horrible things right in my ear and after reading the Bible I found out obviously it was a demon also too when I was down there I heard this booming masculine like laughter it was a laughter that was it was just like a mocking laughter like a haha I got you laughter Obviously, though, I didn't hear him say that, but that's what that laughter implied. And after seeing other documented stories of people who've been to hell and back, I found out that the laughter that I heard, that was the laughter of Satan, who sits on his throne laughing at the lost souls that were down, that were down there and are down there, because he's probably still there. And, you know, he goes back and forth on the earth and back there, you know. To tempt people but uh but anyway I was down there and I just was trying to escape by punching myself clawing myself my face meaning you know the face of my soul 
not this physical body. The physical body was on earth at the time. That was my soul because the soul looks exactly like the physical body, as you guys know. And I was just down there and I just was, I was just horribly, you know, depressed, worse than I've ever been when I was down there because it's like, it's like this. I'll, I'll describe to you what hell is like, what it's like being down there the feeling take the worst emotion you've ever had in your whole entire life times that by a thousand and that's how bad hell is it's it's horrible and it's hell is eternal meaning some people sadly got to deal with that all of eternity because the soul of a human being lasts forever and it either goes to heaven or hell okay anyway back to my story and this is true too and some of you guys may not believe it but i know what happened from the bottom of my heart what happened was when I was down there, you know, I was thinking of all these ways to get out, screaming cuss words. I was, I was, you know, just screaming help, 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 and nothing was happening. And I just, I felt like I was like falling, like, and um, the only thing I could think about doing was to scream Jesus, because that was the only hope that I had when I was down there. And realize, too, that before I was a Christian, I used to hear the term by people, Jesus saves, but I never truly understood what it meant. I never fully realized, you know, the whole meaning behind that one saying, that Jesus saves. And when I was down there, and this is the best part of the story, when I was down there, I screamed Jesus at the top of my lungs as loud as I could, because that's all I could do. I wanted to get out. And as soon as I said, G, like I was in the middle of saying it, like Jesus, because as you guys know, you know, the Lord already knows our future before it even starts. So he probably knew that I was going to say it. And when I was in the middle of saying Jesus, I saw this beam of white light. And this is amazing how it happened. This beam of white light, this holy light, just whoosh, and then quick as lightning, he was in front of me wearing a long white glowing robe and it was so amazing because like all at once I felt guilty happy surprised and because I felt you know guilty for all my my filthy sins I've committed I I looked away and looked down in shame meaning like I saw I glanced at him I didn't see his face because it was so much light like on him that it, he's so holy that like when I looked at him because I was in so much darkness at the time because I, I've never experienced you know the love of Jesus I just I did I, I was like you know what what could I do thinking to myself you know and so I, I looked away and I felt him grab my body he didn't say anything to me and took me out of there as quickly as he came down meaning he took me out you know out of hell quick as lightning and like it was probably the most amazing experience of my life and my advice to all of you watching this is please never go to hell please trust the Lord with all your heart this life on earth goes by like that you know it's like a big hotel stay it feels like yesterday I was in I was in kindergarten look how old I am now you know life goes by really fast on this earth and eternity has no end so please trust Jesus Christ as your Savior and how you can do that is you can invite him in your life with a prayer it's that easy okay so just repeat exactly after me and I'll, I'll pray it with you say from the bottom of your heart sincerely Lord Jesus Forgive me for all of my sins. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. And rising from the dead. Lord Jesus, I want to follow you with faith from now on. Lord Jesus, I promise to read pages of the Holy Bible, which is your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you've done for me. 
You're so holy. And you're so awesome, Lord Jesus. Be my friend, Lord Jesus. I want to feel the love you have for me, Lord Jesus. Amen. And, you know, my advice to you is don't thank me, thank him. Because the Lord wanted me to make this video to to get the message across to you guys that hell does exist and it's not a joke. It's not it's not some place with a bunch of parties going on. It's absolute torment. And you know, please trust the Lord as your savior, Jesus Christ, and remember he died on the cross for our sins, rose from the dead, conquered death, so that if we accept him, we don't have to face the sting of death. So please trust him as your savior. God bless you.